Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. A sad update on what's happening with Doki right now. Uh, she can't catch a break. She's trying to do her best. She does everything she can to, you know, bring good things to her community, to bring fun times, happy times, and just, you know, laughs to the community. And uh, she can't catch a freaking break. She really can't. What do I mean by that? I mean that she, in this case, uh, just did something simple of wanting to create Lunar New Year's merch. Just Lunar New Year's merch. That's it. And she ended up having an issue where despite being free of yacht man's toxicity it appears there was at least one bad apple taking advantage of doki's love for her fans and holding that lunar new year's merchandise hostage it says here merch update we've been getting a lot of emails about this and just wanted to make an official announcement there has been an issue regarding distributing and my old director of the company i parted ways with the director as i found out they were taking advantage of me and my work and threatening my staff however due to this they have held my merch hostage for two months so this person this jerk here was threatening staff i don't know what with what or how but threatening staff i believe doki and they were let go because of this but they've held merch hostage for two months now and stopped the distributor from working with me it's also why i've been so behind in work as behind the scenes i've had to restructure the entire company and fix the many issues the ex-director left behind stuff that she shouldn't have to deal with i'm currently looking for a new temporary distributor and using my funds to purchase the remaining merch so we can ship the orders that were affected. Thank you so much for your time, and I'm really sorry for the car the Dragoons that were affected. I'm currently working as best as I can to refund those that requested, since so many of you have waited for so long, and I'm really sorry. I just wanted to be transparent with all of you, as I know it's been pretty frustrating. Yeah, for everybody, for her especially, because this... It reflects badly on her when people don't know about what's happening. But now that people know, it's going to help her. So um, it, she's taking this as a learning experience. And she's saying, um, want to be transparent with all of you. As I know, it's been pretty frustrating regarding the merch. That's why I have not released anything new on the website since I want to fix the situation before looking into setting anything. It's definitely been a huge learning experience. Um, and the final thing, I'm unsure exactly how many orders this affected. But I know the limited bundles still haven't been shipped out. The worst part is that the distributor received all the merch items from the Lunar New Year set and was stopped just when they were being shipped out. It will take some time for the manufacturer to make the new products since I know a lot of orders were affected. So we are open to processing refunds if the wait is too much. So she knows the ones that are affected. She knows how many people are affected. Anyone who is affected who is watching my streams or my video here, please give her patience have patience with her because the bird is doing absolutely everything she can to make sure that she gives you what you deserve gives you the stuff and taking money out of her own pocket to make to have things remade because this is money that she's paying herself to have things remade to make things right with you guys this girl can't take a break yet another instance of doki having no choice but to put her own funds towards issues that aren't her fault and i wish she could do something to the distributor like something legally but that also takes money that also takes money. March is one of those things you have to be extra careful as an indie. There's been way too many cases I have seen of indies having issues with their merch. It's a reason why people are so keen on Corpo's protection from such things. Yes, it's one of those things. She's taking the reins as her company's own director now with a financial advisor and a couple of extra layers. I assume the lawyers are just temporary and the financial advisor isn't a full hire. And according to Doki, every staff she hired had a horror story that was related to said ex-director. My goodness, girl cannot catch a break. She hired a few lawyers and a financial advisor to make her into a businesswoman. Corpa Doki Arc incoming. She says, unfortunately, it's also too common that with the corroborating testimony of the harm they caused from other witnesses, such a scummy individual will evade notice. Yes, they know how to hide. They know exactly how to hide. And they will. And here is more of what Doki said. In the end, I am now the new and only director of my own company. I at first thought I would appoint someone else to act as a director to handle the more business side of things as I just want to focus on being creative. I lacked the experience and the knowledge to really run a company and thought it was best to appoint the position to someone else. However, every staff I've hired had a horror story that was related to the ex-director. Although the workload is much heavier, I realized that the only person I can trust is myself for this, for my brand. I really have recently hired a few 
lawyers, and a financial advisor to help me on this new journey to teach me how to be a proper businesswoman. I might have been more expensive in the long run, but I just want to make more make people happy and laugh with me without my dragoons worrying about everything else. I really appreciate everyone's patience. I stumble as I stumble along the way to try to find my footing. And of course, everyone should have patience. She's doing her best. She's pretty much a single bird right now, trying to be a director, a creative side with, with doing streams and everything else. So it's going to take a bit, but she's going to make everything right. They just can't leave VTubers alone. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Twitch. Twitch just can't leave YouTubers alone. Scarla never posted on Twitch. She never actually did anything on Twitch. What ended up happening more than likely is she got mass reported because of course, Nidhi Sanji is hated by a lot of people and some people are go a little bit further than I do. Like I just criticize them openly. I would never do this, like actually go and report them because she has no content on there. What would she be breaking rules with? Like she has nothing on there. It's a placeholder. That was pretty much something that Nidhi Sanji got. So it would be a placeholder so that if she ever wanted to go on Twitch, she could. But now she's banned on Twitch. This is what makes me think it was a concentrated reporting campaign. It was a collaborative reporting campaign. People do this all the time. They did that to Bungo, Bungo Taiga. That's why he was canceled off of pretty much everything. They've done that to other people. They've tried to do that to me. Uh, other, I mean, it just happens. It just freaking happens. Uh, and this is not the way to do it. You can criticize the company. You can hate Niji Sanji all you want, but this ain't it, buddies. This really ain't it. The, the whole, oh, I'm going to teach them a lesson by getting them banned from a service that they're not actively even using. You're not owning anybody. You're not uh, being, you know, like, oh, you're not doing the world a favor. You're not doing anybody a favor. In fact, you're just being a weird little gremlin, which I guess some people are fine with being a gremlin, but that's like, why are you doing that? Why the heck are you doing that little gremlin stuff? And especially Scarla. Like I, I've said, I have my qualms with Nidhi Sanji. I have my qualms with a lot of the livers who have done bad things like Vox, Ike, Illyra, others. I have my qualms with them. I would never mass report them. Even though I have my qualms with them, I would never mass report any of them unless they actually did something wrong. That's when you report when they actually do something wrong, not when they're just living their lives, trying to do their best and not even posting on the freaking platform that you reported them on. What the heck is wrong with people? I really don't find that. I find that weird. Pretty sure most companies kind of have, like I mentioned before, they had locked the name in and how and why I don't know. Get that? But how they have to get perma banned when she never used the darn thing. More of a Twitch L as opposed to an EG one. And definitely a weird one right here they're saying that she she just takes it as a joke she takes it as like how the hell did i get banned when like i didn't even fucking show up on your 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 darn thing you know uh twitch is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone and as part of that we require all users to ensure that anything shared on their account abides by twitch's terms of service and community guidelines based on our review of your activity or content we have issued a global suspension on your account Due to the severe nature of this violation, the fact that you have incurred multiple violations, your access to Twitch services is indefinitely restricted. I am laughing because I have not streamed a single day on Twitch and barely used the account. No worries, minus sign is on it. So yeah, the freaking managers on it. They've never done anything. It's, it, it's going to be shown as a mass reporting. I think this was due to that one time we had a party in the Twitch chat. No more offline hype trains, chato. That was one of those gifted subs out of nowhere, I bet. Honestly, I think so, too. Yeah, it was like, basically, they're getting money. Why are you getting money? And they just got angry at that. I don't know. It really does seem like someone just had it out for her. And I'm it, it sucks because Scarlet is one of the good ones. Every year, Hololive has a show that they put, up, put on, which what it does is it gives the opportunity for livers to, I think it's all of Hololive, really, to be able to win something uh, you know, whether it be a nail clipper set, like right now, Hachama won a luxury nail clipper set. Sometimes it's pillows, sometimes it's the whole bed, sometimes it's a trip, you know, a voucher for a trip or voucher for a plane trip. You know, sometimes when they have to do business, they can use that for that. There are other ones like uh, a full 1 million yen, which is right now as of recording something like eight to nine thousand dollars, just free and clear. You don't have to give it back. It's just basically a... a voucher for that for any project that you want to do while you're doing hollow life and that is crazy that is wild that is insane that is fun that is very fun to see and of course here we have uh, hachama we have uh lami who won the corsair the full-on corsair uh the tv 
the wall hack stuff, the sleeve repeat, the mouse skates, a headset, and the actual mouse. The mouse skates, I think, is so you can the mouse can move a lot quicker along the screen. You had that was the big thing that they were having. It's something that's done every year. You had um, <laughs> you had Polka who won a pillow and she passed out. Well, she fake passed out, of course, but yeah, people were messing with her. Uh, and then you had Azki, who looks like she won a actual big raffle. Wants to go to my Hollow Men with my Hollow Men, basically a a kind of a retreat to a location, a specific location. So this is like a vacation. Arin Corporation is the one that is uh, sponsoring this one. And they, it is just basically a trip that they can take with any Hollow Mem and they can just, it's wonderful. These things are like not cheap. They are of course, usually used as business expenses. But yes, what did uh, Jirika win? She won, you can eat delicious food. Thank you for bowling Hollow Mem, be coming to my house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she won food. She won food specifically, which is amazing. She invited Hollow Mem there. Uh, you basically got, um, was able to bowl, that was Ichika. Stayed up. The one who stayed up was the one who won. So they were bowling to knock out the pins. And whoever stayed up, I think you can see Ali on one of these. And Ridika was the one who remained. So they're the one who got it. And here you go. This is a celebration as well that Noel won this. This is Dancho's. I didn't expect the host, but I did my best. Happy to have won. Bingo. Thank you for your support. Yes, this is Bingo. She won a chair, the uh, RGB keyboard, uh, you know, ear earplugs, earphones and gigabytes oh dang that's probably expensive the gaming monitor gaming mice gaming peripherals pretty much so that's very nice i mean i've paid for my my monitors and everything and they're expensive and these these girls they work really hard so i'm glad that they're getting this next one and the main big winner is Tsunamaki watame what did she win she won like i said the one million yen which is about eight to nine thousand dollars that she can use on any project that she wants she can split it up any way that she wants but it is to be used while she is a Hollow member, and it is to be used on Hollow Life related stuff. This is not a bad thing because uh, people like Watame, people like a lot of other Hollow members. They have their own projects, like I know Marine does it a lot, where they have their own songs, things like that, and that costs money, a lot of money, a lot of times. So that ends up being a cost that now it's basically a free loan that they don't ever have to pay back which is amazing for her i'm so very happy that she won it and here's the moment that she won it that i want to share with you guys the big one the big finale with laplace it's all random <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on there? They're doing something fancy. Watame! She's the one who won it! Big congratulations to one of my Oshis. She is one of my Oshis. She's very happy. And again, like I said, that is $8,000 that she doesn't have to pay back that she can use for whatever project she wants. She does Watha Midnight Fever all the time. She does a lot of singing things. She does music videos. She does all that. She can do Minecraft. She can do whatever she wants. She has $8,000 of the company's money to spend on anything she wants to do. Congratulations, Watame. Congratulations. Her and every single one who I didn't mention and did mention who won. Absolutely, congratulations. They deserve it. Fuamoko is getting a happy. What is a happy? It is one of these things that is worn usually. These, from I, I've usually seen the happies worn during concerts for people, uh, you know, celebrating their Oshis and representing their Oshis at concerts. Uh, these are usually diehard fans that get it. But now you, as a diehard fan, can get it as well at shop, the, the Holo Pro shop. You have, uh, it says, show your passion everywhere you go with the ultimate Fuamoko battle armor for the ultimate ruffian. It's basically so you can see Fumoko on the big stage when you cheer them on the big stage. Down here it says we are very particular when producing this happy. Happy are super special places that show your love. And we want our mama to do a pick for it too. We, ha we had to get our mama. So they got their mama to do a pick for it too. Also, not many happy have fancy embroidery included on them. Extra, extra special. So this is extra, extra special happy. As you can see here, uh, it is really well done with embroidery like really well done oh wow yeah it's really well done 
It's really well done with embroidery. As my computer chugs along, it's really well done with embroidery. And that is shown here in Fuamoko first anniversary celebration. Shipping period is estimated to be mid to mid January to mid February 2025. So this is pre-orders. The first anniversary merch complete set, $130, which includes the happy and everything. Uh, the uh, other sets, the merch, Fuamoko Happy is 57 bucks. The Bao Bao Keychain is $22. The Petal Plushie is 29 bucks. And the Fuamoko Glass Set is $22. So the full set, you get to enjoy it at $130. Maximum one piece per purchase. So you can't just go and you know try to try to uh, scalp it, I guess, is there what they're making the one piece per purchase here for at least the complete sets. So as many ruffians as possible can get that set. Congratulations, Fuamoko, for getting this type of merch. It is rare to see, but I'm very happy that Hololive is doing this for them. Enigmatic Recollections is a project that Hololive EN, Hololive, Hololive Productions EN has been doing, and they've involved Justice, Advent, and all the other EN gens, the Hololive EN gens, in this. What they've been doing recently, at least from what I've been seeing, is that they've been having a Minecraft roleplay thing going on where they each have their, their different uh, groups and they're all going and challenging dungeons, challenging other places and having lots of fun. This is something that they posted on September 1st, which is when they started doing everything. I think it started everything on September 1st. Yesterday, September 2nd was also another day that they were doing more stuff. And here is some of their stuff that they were doing here. A little thing with Gura, because of course, because Gura is their largest creator. You know, she's having, uh, <laughs> she's having things there, doing her work. And she wants to leave. She wants to go and do stuff. So she goes and goes to the surface, breaks through. Oh, whoa. There was an actual barrier that prevented her from going to the surface. That is lore I was not aware of. So that was lore I was not aware of. So she's trying to figure out how to break it. She uses her trident to break it, it looks like. And yep, she's able to break through and become a part of this whole experience. I love that they did this. I love that they have... Uh, made this a part of her lore, a part of the lore, and a way to show that she is enjoying herself and that she's going to be enjoying herself with her other gen mates. And this is something that's going to be going on for months, I think, at least for the month of September. And it's going to be not only the Minecraft things. Of course, Animatic Recollections is going to have some music videos, more than likely some, some music involved with it, some other lore type stuff. It's going to be a full on production, which is amazing. It is something that other agencies who will not shall not be named, who are around the same size as them, don't seem to do. Or if they try to do, they don't do it properly, which is frustrating for the livers who are involved in all of this. Anime Impulse recently had something, Anime Impulse OC, that happened, a small convention that happened, and they showed off some more Calliope merch that looks like a baseball jersey, correct me if I'm wrong, and they had more Calliope, and they had Ina, of course, as being a part of it. She had her own jacket as well, her own sports jacket. It was very nice. I also, they had visuals there that someone was modeling. It is very cool to see that. We could cook it up, how live meat. Uh, we'll be able to get these online at some point. How do we pre-order? Do you have to be at the con? But you have to beg merch to be sold online. People want the merch to be sold online. If the issue is with merch sold online, you have all this other stuff, you know, uh, shipping, packaging, all that kind of stuff, all that extra overhead. And it's easier for them just to ship the stuff to a meet and greet or to a anime impulse OC or anything like that in actual con that they're, they're visiting because they're already going to be there and have that in an artist alley or vendor alley. And what I'm talking about is, yes, they recently had an Anime Impulse OC where they had a lot of different VTuber goods. A lot of people were, were you know, buying, selling it, VTuber goods, having panels, having lots of fun there in general with karaoke's, other things like this, just a lot of, ooh, these look like pogs. These actually look like pogs. Uh, they actually look like, are they, are they actually pogs? Or the or are they coasters? The bigger ones are coasters, but the smaller ones look like pogs. If you're if you do not know what pogs are, they were a part of my my childhood, and I love them to death. Uh, then we have other people, you know, uh, people putting out their stuff, uh, putting out other places that they went to, voice actor karaoke's, you know. Uh, thank you for, for joining us at Anime Impulse. That was over. Till next time, it ended already on uh, September second. It looks like so. They had their recent meet, and they're gonna have more throughout the year. I think they're going to have some in October as well. So look forward to that. In other Face Connect news, Face Connect is starting their summer camp. So let's end the summer together with a bang. Join our talents as they take on new jobs as camp counselors for Face Camp, a virtual summer camp 
filled with three days of streams, fun, and original song premieres. So I believe it started out with um, the summer relay that they had, the summer singing relay that they recently had. And this is something that all of them are doing. Why Mu, why Mu you got Booba, Lumikini, I'm so weak. Yes, of course, they have the visuals here, other people here, Muyu, others, you know, uh, Pippa P looking kind of young there. Pippa's a hag and she's looking kind of young. I'm just playing. But yeah, you have everyone here uh, having, enjoying their stuff. And of course, Face Connect again, an official thing, having their little summer uh, announcement here. They're with Muyu, Amy, Tenma, Leah, Sheena, Enya, everybody. New original songs. Uh, other things popping up here, just having special themed streams. It's going to be a nice little fun summer camp. I believe uh, Pippa already talked about it recently. Uh, this is a nice way. This is a nice little extra thing. It's a, it's not unheard of for there to be special events like this, but Face Connect, I haven't heard of them doing the summer camp thing before. This is a new thing. This is new and this is fun. It's going to be fun for everybody involved. And of course, you have all their looks here. Uruka. Uruka for once, not like like actually having the, the bikinis. Remilia, Yavruni, Amy, Makina. Of course, you have Jelly in a cute one. The Jelly has a cute one as well. So they all they, that's all the visuals they have there. And yeah, it's going to be three days of theme streams from 9.6 to 9.8. So it's not there yet, but it will be there soon. Fillion, in their infinite glory, in their infinite wisdom, almost burned down their house. Not as a joke, not a joke, almost literally burned down the apartment on stream, a fire. You can see it's, it burned a lot of stuff that it's, it's probably going to be smoke, not any, maybe hopefully not smoke damage, but you never really know with these. You're not allowed to touch anything ever again, Scoochan, another popular VTuber. Uh, it's not even a toilet seat with your bum. Hey, so like, don't try to cook your mail. It's not edible. Uh huh. Chat, what happened? Ebby as well, not again, Fillion, be careful. Nyana Banana is like, huh? How? All these big ones, how? You know, people are talking about, you know, sending it to me is how I got it. And here is the Fillion setting her house on Based. fire, apparently. Uh, it legitimately smells like a bonfire. That kind of good. My dear queen, what do you guys think? Whenever, whenever, whenever. Wait, wait. Oh. I found out why it smells like burning. I actually turned on my stove and now stuff's on fire. That's not, that's not as simple like, oh, stuff's on fire. <laughs> I got it. I got it, boys. My entire stove was covered in old mail. This is what my stove looks like. That's the hoodie I put on top of to put it out. I think my shirt or something must have gotten caught and turned the stove knob. Fillion and stream fix your shit. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a small fire. For some small reason, small fire. A small fire it could have burned down her apartment. But yeah, that's Fillion for you. That's Fillion in her infinite glory, again, in their infinite glory. Uh, that is just the way things work sometimes with VTubers. We do uh, catch things on fire, whether we want to or not. We do have fun with the stove, whether we want to or not. Uh, sometimes I am not allowed in front of a stove in some places because I like <laughs> I like keeping things on for a little bit too long and I forget that sometimes I even have water boiling. And it boils through the pan. So that's fun. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give back to VTubers and the VTuber community that has done so much for me. T today, we're going to be talking about Luminosity, who is a celestial lunar princess inbound. May you be guided graciously on our journey together. And this is, of course, you know, her her recent stuff putting out here. Uh, we're live. We are back at stream at some point, possibly more lore. So she's putting out some lore. She's putting out other things here. We're taking a look at her about page. She says, maybe got a gracious. It says down here about me, a lunar princess who descended from the moon, currently inhabiting Earth in her human body. Her, si her sole interest is to explore our universe and its secrets while adapting to human behavior. Welcome and hello, my dear Luminites. Uh, my intention is to create a welcoming environment and a safe place place uh basically she adores role-playing jrpgs story-driven adventure games visual novels horror vns murder mysteries indie games and more so that is going to be what you're going to be seeing here let's take a look at the videos that they have produced and basically let's give you a, a, a little bit of a rundown of what they do <laughs> there you go 
a little bit of fun. They are able to laugh and they're able to enjoy themselves with their community. And I, I love seeing that. I absolutely love seeing that. And that's what I try to bring to you guys, people who will, you can help enjoy their time together, the time that you have with them. This is uh, their VOD area. Basically, they put VODs out there. They have some videos as well. Primarily, it looks like this is their VOD repository, which I do as well on my channel on the live section, at least. I do a VOD repository there uh, because I multi-stream. They don't seem to multi-stream. They just seem to be putting their VODs on here, which is a safe thing to do because Twitch can be a weird one. Thank you so much, Luminosity, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. And I do hope that you are able to have more fun and enjoy your time with your community and i hope that this helps you grow your community thank you thank you so much for watching that is all the news that we have for today please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here which i will try my best to respond to i love seeing your comments down below of course as well like and subscribe to the channel uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day i do two videos a day so hopefully you enjoy